What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find and solve simple interest word problems. So the formula for simple interest is this one right here. I is equal to PRT. And in case you don't know what each of those variables stand for, they're right here. So I is equal to the interest, and that's gonna be in a dollar amount. P is equal to the principal, which is also a dollar amount. R is equal to rate, which is a percentage, and T is equal to the time, and that's gonna be in years. Okay, so now that you know what these stand for, let's jump into this first example. So it says, find the simple interest earned after three years on $500 at an interest rate of 6%. Okay, so as you can see, it's telling us to find the simple interest, right? So we don't know what the simple interest is, so we're looking for I in this case, right? And remember, I is equal to PRT. So what are the values of PRT? Well, principal would be your dollar amount right there, okay? So it'd be 500. And then you're gonna multiply that by R. What's R? It's the rate, right? And the rate in this problem is 6%, okay? But you don't put 6% here, okay? You don't do that. You have to convert this percent to a decimal. So how do you do that? Well, an easy way of doing it is just dropping your percent sign. Okay, so we just have the number six, right? Where is the decimal on the number six? It's right there. Okay, so then just move it two times to the left. One, two. So that's where your decimal goes, okay? And since we have a blank place value right there, you just put a zero. Okay, so 6% is the same thing as 0 .06. 0 .06. Okay, so this is P, this is R, and then lastly T, which in this case it's gonna be three, right? Because three years. Okay, so the simple interest is equal to 500 times 0 .06 times three. So then you just plug that into your calculator and then you would get that I is equal to 90, okay? 90 what? Well, what are the units for simple interest? It's dollars, right? So your answer right here would be $90. Okay, so let's try a couple more. Now, the problem says find the principal invested if $178 of interest was earned in two years at an interest rate of 4%. Okay, now, sometimes these problems can get a little confusing, so if it helps you, you can write out right off the bat what each one is equal to, okay? And then you can plug it into the formula after. So here it says find the principal, right? So we don't know what the principal is. So what do we know? Well, it says $178 of interest, okay? So that means I would be 178, okay? Was earned in two years, right? So that means time is equal to two years. At an interest rate of 4%. So your rate right here would be 4%. Okay, but remember, when we plug it into the equation, it has to be a decimal. So following the same little trick I taught you in the last problem, as a decimal, this would be 0 0.04. Okay, so now let's plug these numbers into our equation right there. So I equals PRT. So I is 178, and that's equal to P, which we don't know right now, right? Times R, which is 0 0.04, or 0 0.04 times the time, which is two years, so two. Now, how do I solve for P right here? Well, one thing I'm gonna do first is simplify my numbers a little bit. So I'm gonna say 178 is equal to P times this, right? So what is 0 0.04 times two? Well, that would be equal to 0 0.08. Okay, so now that I simplified this a little bit, I have to solve for P, right? So that means I need to get rid of this 0 0.08. So since we're multiplying here, I'm gonna divide by 0 0.08, okay? And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, right? So zero point, divide by, on this side by 0 0.08 also. Okay, so these cancel each other out. So then I'm just gonna be left with P on this side of the equation. And then that's equal to 178 divided by 0 0.08, which if you plug that into your calculator, you would get 2,225. 
And what are your units for the principal? Well, remember it's dollars, right? So the principal, right, P is equal to $2,225. So that would be your answer right there. Okay, so let's do one more. Okay, so this last problem says, find the rate if a principal of $8,200 earned $3,772 interest in four years. Okay, so there's obviously a lot of information right off the bat, but just always start at the same spot. Okay, just remember this is your equation, right? I is equal to PRT. Okay, so now let's just fill in things that we know. So here it says find the rate. Okay, so that means we don't know what the rate is, right? That's what we're going to be looking for. And then it says if a principal of $8,200. Okay, so my principal is going to be 8200 Okay, and we're multiplying that by R, right, which is unknown. So I'll leave it as R. And then what else does it say here? Earned $3,772 interest. Okay, so I is equal to 3,772. Okay, so I is equal to PRT. And what is T? Four, right? Four years. All right, so let's simplify some things. So I'm going to say 3,772 is equal to... Now, what's 8,200 times four? That would be 32,000... 800 okay and remember we're still multiplying by r right here right we're still multiplying by r now how do i solve for r right here well i'm going to have to divide by whatever i'm trying to get rid of which would be the 32,800 right 32,800 and what you do to one side of an equation you do to the other 32,000 divide by 32,800 okay so now these cancel out so we're just going to be left with r on this side of the equal sign and then that's equal to 3772 divided by 32800 so what is this equal to right here well if you plug that into your calculator you're going to get 0 0.115 okay so we got r is equal to 0 0.115 is that your final answer no because remember, your rate is a percentage. This right now is a decimal. So how do you convert a decimal to a percentage? Well, all you have to do is grab your decimal and move it two times to the right. So we're gonna go one, two. Okay, so that's where the decimal goes. So instead of 0.115, this turned into 11.5, and that's gonna be a percent. Okay, so 11.5% is equal to R. So that would be your answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.